Did you know there's a new feature in SharePoint to allow you to request files from other users, even external users? It's a fantastic new feature. Let me show you how to set it up, how to control that, and how to keep your environment secure. So to get started with this feature, we need to change our sharing settings, or at least check them to make sure that they're set up correctly. Go into policies and then to sharing. And the thing that you're gonna to need to check is that you have the anyone links enabled. So whether it's SharePoint or OneDrive, actually you could turn down OneDrive if you only want this turned on for certain SharePoint sites. I definitely don't recommend doing all SharePoint sites this way. But if you lower the SharePoint setting, OneDrive will go with it. But for this demo, I'm just gonna leave OneDrive down here and just enable this for SharePoint. And to take a moment just to discuss what we've just done, we've just enabled anyone links within SharePoint. Now sites aren't automatically updated to this, which is a good thing. You generally don't want everyone to be able to share every file with external users. That's just not good security practice. What I recommend is with this setting set to anyone, you will designate one SharePoint site collection or maybe a few, but they'll be dedicated to this purpose. That way, when you enable the anyone links on these sites, only those sites are going to be affected. All of your sensitive content, all of your intranet content, everything else can still stay locked down unless you go back into SharePoint Admin Center and configure that site to allow more permissive links like anyone link. So let's get back into it. The next thing we're gonna to need to configure now that we have anyone links turned on for SharePoint is we're gonna go down here and where it says folders, we're going to make sure it is set to view, edit, and upload. This is how external users are going to be able to upload files using a link that was shared with them to a particular folder. Then we're gonna go into active sites, find the site that we're going to enable this on, go to settings, and make sure that external file sharing here has been elevated to anyone. It may only be set to only people within your organization. We wanna make sure this is set to anyone. And notice how it didn't get automatically moved to anyone just because we changed the sharing policy. All the sites are unaffected by that. All the new sites will be unaffected by that. They will still default, I believe it's to, only people within your organization. So you as the SharePoint admin or global admin will need to go and configure this site to allow those anyone links. And then with a little bit of PowerShell, we can enable this feature and optionally specify an expiration date for those request file links, which I highly recommend. And then we can go test it out. So let's go to the SharePoint site where we've got this turned on and nothing will happen until you're in a library and you create a folder. Remember that that upload permission is only gonna to apply to a folder. It will not apply to the library. So we can create a folder called requests. And then if you either hit the three dots, you will see request files. Or if you look up on the toolbar, you'll see request files here. So here's how we can send that request. The person who gets this will not be able to view any files. They can access SharePoint and see content. This basically just gives them a blind upload ability. Here you'll type in the description of what file the person should upload and then click next and then we'll address it to somebody and then click send now let's go check the email and see what it looks like so over here in gmail i've got the new email so we can click on upload files and here's the message so let me go ahead and pick a log file to upload And it's a nice interface for this. Let's go check the file in SharePoint. So if we go into the requests folder, we will see our new file. It added the first name, last name to the beginning of the file name. And you see it was modified by a guest contributor. It's a very slick feature. It's very nice. I could see this being used in a lot of situations where we need to get information from a client, from some other business user, from a vendor, especially, without having to give them a guest account, without having to add them to a SharePoint site, any of that. And if you're trying to improve your skill set with SharePoint and Microsoft 365, check out this video right here to continue that journey.